strange how a few seconds can feel like a lifetime, yet, knowing the dreaded end that is coming, death, is it peaceful, painful, or is it just silent? Has one ever wondered the thoughts that would cross the mind when you were about to die? Would it be a regret, all the things you did not do, the person you were meant to become, the dreams that are lost when a life is cut short? Would it be a family, the sorrow your death would cause them, the children you would never have, the burdens of providing in your absence? Or would you think of love, God's love and mercy as you enter his kingdom, or the love of a man you are forced to leave behind? I thought these notions would cross my mind in those few seconds after the panic, fighting for your life, and the reality that Lady Death has come for thee. But no, they did not. I can see my story of life, my love, and my fate. My death is silent. I feel her pulling me down to my watery grave. My thoughts before death are not of regret, family, or love, but to let the truth be known, for justice to be served to the one who took away my fate and future. I grew up simple. My father was a farmer. They had four children. The eldest was Anne, followed by Mary, and then me, Alice. My brother was a welcome surprise. For reasons unknown, I remember this day. My mother's smile, my sister's laughter, my father's joy. Yet, I barely remember what my mother looked like. She became ill and was taken from us too soon after this distant memory. Let us race to the river. Ladies, do not race, Alice. If we are to have good prospects for husbands, we can't look like farm girls. I mean, you do remember Petra's good fortune. Yes, she was the talk of the village. A noble knight on his giant white steed rode into town and spotted her on the road. Ugh, are we doomed to be old maids? I mean, even you, Alice, are over the marrying age. And now that Peter is going to become a knight, I mean, we might be able to be looked at as women with real status. Tis status all that matters to you. I choose to be like mother and marry for love. To hell with wealth and noblemen. Peter will secure father. We needn't worry about that. <sighs> Tis a beautiful day and no one is around to witness. So let us race to the river and leave tomorrow's worries behind us. I'll win like I always do. You and <laughs> help. Dolores, help. Oh my gosh. Help me. Help. Mary, go get help. Help. Help someone. Help me. I cannot swim. Oh, stay here. Help. And be careful. Help. Help. <laughs> Go get Peter. <sighs> My lady, so is this the beautiful creature that saved me? Your bravery will put any man to shame. Sweet angel. Anne, are you all right? You risk all for him. 
I'm fine, and he lives. Wait, tis the prince. And who are you? I am Peter, son of Geoffrey. I'm training to be a knight in your court. Are you hurt, my lord? Would you like to return to our cottage? No need. My guards are yonder. I was going to cool off and I lost my footing and slipped in. Is this your wife that saved me? Nay, I am a maiden. I heard your cry and I, I didn't hesitate. This is an angel. This is my sister Anne. Don't cover yourself. I am certain fate has brought us together. I insist on showing gratitude to your family. And with the last that saved me. This day would forever change our simple lives. This innocent man would be the reason our family was torn apart. Yet, do I regret that Anne saved him that day? Nay, he was to be my fate. Good morning, my lady. My lord, what are you doing out here? My family expects you at the cottage. That was my intent, but I saw you and I had to stop. Will you not be joining us at your father's house? I will. But I just figured your interest lies with my father and my sister Anne. <laughs> I am indebted to your whole family. Does that not include you? I, my lord. <laughs> Please, call me William. My father is the lord. I am just a man trying to get acquainted. Well then, you must call me Alice. For, as you can see, I am no lady, but a farmer's daughter. <laughs> no matter your birth rank, I see a lady and I should call you by your first name, Alice. You surprise me, William. You do not act as though I thought a prince would. And how should a prince act? Oh, I do not know. A rich, proper snob, I suppose. You remind me more of my brother than someone of <laughs> noble birth. That is the first time I've heard a maiden refer to me as her brother. Keep in mind, I am second born. My brother is a prince. I may have wealth and title, but I will never be him. Forgive my bold tongue. Twas meant as a compliment. You are humble and kind as my brother. No apologies needed. You are refreshing. You intrigue me, Alice. I'd like to get to know more of your thoughts. You too are intriguing, William. Do you care to accompany to your father's house? Aye. You look lovely, Anne. You don't want the prince to see you fussing so over your looks. Ugh, oh, you're right, but oh, can you believe it? He's coming here to our house. Oh, yesterday we almost shared a kiss. Oh, may I be so bold? I think he might like me. And he's a prince. He can't wed someone of our birth. It would be a scandal. All Anne can become is a mistress, and I'll be damned if she becomes that. I'm training to become a knight. If I gain favor with the prince, this could help our families and get you both decent marriage proposals. That should be our thoughts, not seducing the prince. He's not the oldest. If he wishes to marry below his status, he may do so. You're just jealous that it was your sister that saved him. If the prince wishes to show me affection, I will entertain it. Good day. I saw your sister out in the field and I could not help but stop and greet her. No need to be alarmed. My head guard was with us. Here. My lord. Get up, get up. I should be the one bowing to you. Because of your brave daughter, I'm standing here today. Without her aid in my time of need, I could be doomed. Take this gift. It should be at least enough to live comfortably for a year. You are truly a saint, kind sir. This is way more than we deserve. We are but simple farmers. Nonsense, it's yours. This is my friend and head guard, Giles. Tis the young man you spoke of? Aye, he's new to the knighthood. How would you like to train with Giles, wee lad? I would get to train with your personal guard? It would be an honor, my lord. He's scrawny, but we'll whip him into shape. We must head back to the castle immediately. Aye, if it's okay with my father. 
We will find someone in the village to help us. I am so proud of my son and my daughters. And Anne, I owe you more than any silver or gold could ever buy. I insist that you and your sisters join me at court and meet my mother. The queen wishes to praise your heroics in person. You wish for me to go to court? Aye. If I see your face here ever again, you won't have a hand to touch my women with. If you're going to treat my women like whores, then you'll pay for it. You dirty old crone. You should be lucky to have to entertain me. Barely enough to cover your food and drink, you dirty pig. I am a harper. I was rich. She would have been lucky to be with me. Oh, hello there, lass. No, 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 don't go in there. Stay with me for a bit. I'm sorry, sir. My, my mistress needs me. Oh, you are quite bonny. And these fingers. You have very delicate fingers. They would look lovely playing my harp. Uh, nay, sir. Come. We should only take a few moments. Nay! Oh. You bitch! You fool! Milo? Damn it, Barnabas. What in God's name are you doing? Are you drunk? What concern of it is yours? I take it you're not working at the castle anymore then? This is only temporary. They'll soon want, soon want me back. You can't be carrying on like this. What were you going to do to that maiden? This is not your concern. I was just having a little fun. Ah, you shit for brains. Well, if you think so little of me, then just leave. <laughs> nay, I can't have you out there dragging our family's name through the mud. Come on, you come home with me, we'll sober you up, and then you can leave town. You think I want to go back there with you? I have enough coin to stay blissfully drunk. Oh, damn. They took all my coin. <laughs> come, you come home with me, Ayla shall make you something to eat. Is that your wife? Nay, my good wife has been dead sometime. It's my daughter. She's 10 years old and your kin. Come, if you give her any guff, it'll be the end of you. Aye, Milo. Get going. Aye. Take your harp. Don't walk it. Found my harp. Take it. Found my harp. You're Milo. drunk. Where is your fool-hearted brother? I believe he rode out this morn at first light. Again? We have hardly seen him. Where is he riding off to now? Up to the farms in the north to see the farmer's daughters again. Why does he waste his time with the simple country girl? We entertained them, may I remind you, against my approval. We gave gratitude for their rescue. Now he needs to move his attention elsewhere. Dear, he is young. He is just having fun. There is no danger in him heeding attention to their family. I am grateful they helped our son, but he acts as if they have noble standing. They do not deserve all this attention. I thought they were most lovely in looks and personality. It could do young William some good to humble himself. And I think he uh, took a fancy to them. Tis what worries me. He is my second born. He cannot expect approval of this, this... This young love affair? Oh, hush. Tis not love, just infatuation. Ah, dear, it is fine. Hugh and Victoria have provided us with an heir, and William is pretty much free to do whatever he likes in the pasture. Out in the barn, out in the field. The castle is big. He can do what he desires. He There's Uncle William! Oh, William, we were just talking about you. Good day, Lady Victoria. There's no need to gossip over me. I'm here in the flesh. You have been away for far too long. I insist you stay at court. Tis not proper for the prince to be riding into the countryside. Ah, mother, but I can't help it. I'm simply bewitched by my lady. 
Oh, hogwash. You are simply infatuated by her beauty and nothing more. It will pass with time. Tis not infatuation. Tis love. William, she is Bonnie. But you can't be serious. <laughs> I am, brother. As serious as you were with Victoria. Is she with child? If so, that does not mean you have to wed. <laughs> Nay, she's not with child. She's pure maiden. I wish to wed her. My lord, you cannot take this engagement seriously. Look. If you don't take it seriously, I will renounce my title, and I'm going to marry her anyway. I don't care what you or mother has to say. Before you do something foolish, you've known this woman for less than a season. You may bring her here as long as you honor my wishes and wait for a year. She must remain pure. I shall go collect her. <sighs> now look what you have done. His intentions are serious. Relax, my queen. His happiness is what really matters. Let's see if he loses interest after a year and moves on to something else. I really am guessing it'll be the latter. Tis it true? What? Don't you play coy with me, you know. I, tis true, sister. How could you do this to me? I'm sorry. I knew that you fancied him, and he thought you were tender-hearted. I was the reason he came to Father's house. I was the one who saved him. I wanted to get to know him better, and ugh, you're just, you're a jealous girl that can't stand the idea of me getting more attention than you. Tis not true. I did not ask for any of this. I knew your intentions, Anne, and at first I wished that he did not see me, but the prince saw me, and he came to me. What was I supposed to do? Turn down the prince? Nay, I was polite, and I spoke with him. How was I to know it was to blossom into a romance, Anne? You could have told him you were promised to another man. I mean, you're young. You'll get another prospect. I, I might not have another option. Tis a rise in status all that matters to you, sister? William is more than that to me. You don't know him any better than any of us. He's only come to the house a handful of times. Actually, he's come more than that to visit me. I'm sorry, Anne. You've seen him many times? Is that why you have to wed? Because you're whoring yourself out to him? You will not speak to me that way. I am not a whore. We simply walked and talked and we were accompanied by his guard the entire time. You wish me to believe that you seduced him with your thoughts? He's a prince, Aulus. It's not like that would ever be enough for him. I'm sure this comes as a surprise to you, as I'm sure you would follow a man to his bed to secure your place, but I would not. I will not stand here and be maligned. You will not speak to me that way. The prince has asked me to move into the castle with him, and I've accepted. Oh, good, go! He'll tire of you. He'll never marry a farmer girl. I'll remember your words once I'm his wife. There you both are. Father has wonderful news. The prince has asked Father's permission to wed Alice. And what did Father say? Well, he said yes, of course. Oh, I wish to tell you of our joyful news sooner, but I needed Father's blessing first. Tis exciting for us all. So what brought you home? Got into some trouble at the court. I just needed to get away. Find a way to regain favor. What what did you do then? Do not pull try to pull the wool over my eyes. The truth. Well, maybe if you treat me more like family instead of an animal, I'd confide in you more. Ah. The cottage is small. There's barely enough room for us as it is. Now. We Eilish. How old are you now, dear? I am ten winters. My, soon you'll be a young maiden. But clearly you get your looks from your mother. Let me see your hand. Give me that hand. 
to fair fingers. Perfect for playing the harp. Is it true you were a great harpist, Uncle? Ah, so your dad has told you a bit about me. I was the greatest harper this land has ever seen. He likes stories. Aye. Uh, it's getting late, Ailish. It's best you turn in for the night. Ah, does she not deserve to hear the story? You wanted her to know me. You know, the monster that you think I am. Lash, this evening I will tell you a tragic tale of a harper that was learned his fate, was seduced by a lady, and lost that which was most precious to him. And brother, you too, by the end of this tale, may also pity my story. I was known for my skill, yet I wanted more. And I was told of an old gypsy in the forest. If found, I would learn my fate and what I must do. And I would do anything to secure my destiny. Damn it! Where are you, woman? Damn it. Who are you? I believe I am the one you seek. Some refer to me as the witch. Are you the gypsy lady? Aye, I am called that. What do you seek? Well, well, I heard that you could tell me of my fate. Your fate? Yes. Give me thy hand. Ah, tis more than you wish for. Be careful, crone. I need my hands to play my harp. I desire to be a famous harpist. You will not gain this fate. You will be known in the village and even gain the king's favor with thy music. But just as quickly as you gain it, you will lose it. No, 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 no. Tell me of the fate I seek. I must know. Hmm. There be a darkness within ye. A lust for fame, power, pleasures. You have talent with the harp, but to gain all that thy wish, you must find a maiden. A maiden? She will be a muse. Without her, you will never gain all that you wish. And I must marry her then? Nay, I will not be able to wed her. She will become thy harp. Without her, you will flicker into the darkness that threatens to consume thee. Come, walk with me, and I will tell you more. Well, you, well, you haven't told me anything. Who is the woman destined to play my harp? That is all you will tell me? I. Tell me her name and where she dwells. I must know! That is all I shall say. Release me, I say, release me! You bitch! I curse thee. Her words, they made little sense. But I continue to search for that lady she spoke of. Did you enjoy this evening's performance? Aye, it was simply lovely. I don't think I've ever heard music that beautiful before. Eventually, you'll tire of it. We have many talented performers at our castle. I shall never tire of this. When you come from a life as simple as mine, such beautiful music is like a glimpse of heaven. Would you like to meet this evening's performer? Tis him over yonder. Aye. Good evening, sir. We wish to compliment you on this evening's performance. My lady, you are too kind. Twas beautiful. What is your name, sir? Barnabas. Oh, you have lovely hands. Fingers for playing the harp. Do you know how to play? Nay, I do not. Well, I could teach you. Will you come play my harp? We only wished to compliment you. No more. Good evening.
No, you must not go. We'll play more for you. Please, come stay. Come stay with me. Come stay with me. She said nay. What is going on here? What are you doing with the prince's betrothed? She's the prince's bride to be. Oh, my, my apologies. Sincerely, my lady. Get the swine out of here. You are no longer <sighs> welcome at court. You're glad the prince didn't put you to death. Was she the one the gypsy spoke of? Perhaps. I never got a chance to find out. What did the gypsy whisper to you? It sounded like a bit of rubbish. But she did describe the maiden. She said, she will come to you as a beautiful swan. Fingers fair. And I will ask her to play my harp and she will say yes. But, as I said, I never found her. Not sure if it was really true. Though I continue to search for my swan. Are you worried she cursed you? Nay, there's nothing worse that can happen to me. I've lost everything. Live as a peasant. <laughs> Ailish, it's time for you to be turning in. So, the truth is that you lost your favorite court because you were chasing a girl. I might have known. Not just any lady. The prince is betrothed. But I had to try. She looked like the maiden I'd envisioned. My sweet swan. If you had not tried to force yourself on her, you could have kept your job. You're a fool. I had to try. You're lucky they didn't hang you for your troubles. You're drunk and lusting after women. It'll be the death of you. I will find the lady the gypsy spoke of. Have no doubt. <laughs> you mean to tell me that little story about the old crone is true? Once I find her, she will choose me. And then the gypsy's curse cannot hurt me. You keep telling yourself this as an excuse to be improper with the maidens. Ah, tell you what, you sober up, you work hard with me in the fields tomorrow, you try to clear your name, and that'll be what changed your fate. Ah, I'm gonna retire for the night. Oh, tis not fair! The prince invited all us to the castle. You would have done the same. She will come for us once they are wed. <sighs> Twas two seasons ago. She lives in a castle with servants. <sighs> While we sit here in filth, I would not treat my blood so. Once she weds the prince, we will be invited to court. Your brother is to be a knight. God has blessed us, so do not try his patience. <sighs> No sister of mine. She's rising in status, leaving her family in filth. <sighs> ah, there you are. We rode to the house, but twas empty. <sighs> the sun is high. Some of us have work to do. I, I've been away far too long. You're still a farm girl, just like us. Actually, tis what I came to tell you about. Father, tis wonderful news. Pray tell. I've finished training to become a knight. I'll be working with Sir Giles in the castle. My son, becoming a knight. <sighs> He's a clever lad, quick to learn with the sword. He'll become a valiant knight someday. Uh, but we accompany Lady Alice with important news. The king and queen have finally approved of my wedding to William. Does this bring you happiness? I, I love him then be happy. Wonderful. I shall return to the castle with the news. Peter, you should escort Lady Alice back. Yes, sir. Oh, what splendid news. Shall we all start packing for the castle? Uh, of course, my family is invited to the ceremony, but... But that's it? Tis not true. You will be welcomed at court. You just need patience, Anne. You have my word. The castle sounds lovely. You were so fortunate the prince found favor with you. Aye, tis beautiful. But still, if William had no wealth or title, I would still love him and wish to wed him. Ugh. Spare me the love story. You wouldn't even look twice if he didn't have a title. 
I mean, your beautiful dress? A personal servant? <laughs> a castle to soon call home. No, you enjoy his wealth. I have endured your sulking insults long enough, Anne. Speak freely, and I pray we can move on from this. I will speak freely. Tis not fair. You make a spectacle of yourself while we sit here in the dirt, hoping you keep your promise. Your jealousy will be the death of you. William chose me, and I him. We will be wed, and I do not need my sister's blessing. Do not call me a sister. Sisters won't betray me. Please, let us stop this bickering. She, she cannot help that the prince found favor with her. You know not how she hurt me. Mary, let me speak to Anne alone. It will be all right. Sister, what would make you happy? Would you like me to press the issue of you moving to the castle? I can speak with William. You wish to make me happy. I. this has gone on long enough. <laughs> Okay, then leave him. Tell him you will not marry him and come home. Tis an unfair request. You ask me to leave my true love? Nay, I shall not. I knew you would choose him over us. You're a whore. You seduced him with your body and that's the only reason he weds you. I am not a whore and you will not speak to me that way. You already think you're above me. Uh, then I'm filth on your shoe just because you have a title. You are his whore, and once he tires of you, he'll throw you out. How dare you? If you choose to live in resentment, so be it. I shall move on and forget about you. My prince awaits me. Goodbye, sister. I want William, and you will never give him up. Oh. Nay, you will never be his wife. No one will hear you scream. You know you really should have learned how to swim, dear sister. Alice! Anne, are you okay? What? We must help her. I saw her. She went in the water. She hit her head. I fear she's dead. Dead? Nay, nay, we must, you must find her. I'll get Peter and Father. No need to rush and deliver the tragic news. I saw it with my own eyes. You dare question me? Nay. We will tell Father and Peter the sad news. She drowned before she went into the river and got carried away. The prince will not be marrying Alice. Hi. Daughter, go fetch us some water. Yes, da. <gasps> da, da, come quickly. What is it? Da, a swan. I fear it's dead. There's no swan. There's a woman. Gentlewoman, go to the house. This isn't something for you to see. Is she, is she uh, dead? She's not breathing. You must go to town and you must tell them. You must inform someone before they accuse us. No, you two should go. I'll stay with the body. Are you sure? Are you the swan I seek? <gasps> you breathe! Beautiful swan, will you play my harp? I... 
Nay. No, you were just breathing. No, Swan, you were supposed to play my hob. Damn it! Damn you! You were supposed to be my hob. You said I. The gypsy said you would be my hob. My hob. Beautiful fingers. Golden blonde hair. You are mine. I have found you. And you are all mine. This horrid creature would give me a voice. His thirst for acceptance and power was my only way to remain. The only way I would be able to tell the truth and right the wrong that was done to me. Fingers fair, her hair beautiful, and her bones. Oh, you're a fool. You do not know what the gypsy woman said. Now you're truly cursed. May death be upon you and yours. Nay, this is what she meant. She was to be my harp. My fate is forever changed. Oh, he's possessed by the devil. Oh. You will leave my home. Dare return. I don't now wish to stay here. Now that I have my treasure, it plays on its own. Tis Lady's ghost. You will not have this demon. I will destroy it. You do not touch her. She's mine. We will leave now. I will protect her, my swan. I cannot believe my love is gone. How cruel the world is. This river brought her to me just to rip her away days before we wed. Does the river goddess seek a life? Was I to die? And this is her revenge, taking the thing I love the most? I would have gladly have drowned to save dear Alice. Are you happy? Are you happy? You've condemned me to a life of sorrow by taking her. I'll give you what you wish for. My life. You will return her to me. If not in this life, then in death. You speak blasphemy. I don't care. Don't be foolish. Get a grip on yourself. She's gone. You're a prince, not a mad fool. I would have given her anything, my wealth, my title, anything, just to be near her. I should have stopped her from coming alone. I could have stopped this. I should have been with her, with her, my lord. She was not a strong swimmer. I could have saved her. Nay, she shouldn't have left my side. I could have stopped her. Such a rare gift needs to be protected. 
<laughs> Damn it. It is not your fault, your majesty. I, Anne and I were with her, my lord. Uh, I, I was with her when she fell. Uh, I would have tried to save her, but I, I just couldn't. Please accept my apologies. Such a brave lass. You risked everything twice. It is not your fault. Please, my lord. It pains me to see you so distraught. Alice would not have wished this upon you. <laughs> Please, my lord. Is there anything we can do to ease your pain? We are your servants. I wish you and your family to come live with me in the castle. Alice wished for this, but me being the fool I am denied her. My father and sisters understand your reason. My lord, you owe us nothing. Uh, if this is what you wish, my lord, Mary and I would gladly come to the castle. It is the least I could do to honor your sister. You and your family will be given title and welcomed at court for as long as you wish. Yes, my lord. Nothing will ease the pain of the passing of my sister. But perhaps together we can heal. I'm willing to help however I can. You came to me as a gypsy foretold, but you do not play. And you know what they may do to me if they see a heart made out of human bo bones. They'll cry heresy. They'll say I work for the devil. They'll condemn me to death. But if you play, they'll see how good you are and be seduced by your sweet music. T his bones! No, no, no. Good people, do not fear this. It is a special harp whose music will soothe the soul. I shall have her play. Please play. He tried to bewitch us with the devil's music. He should be run out of town. No, please, let her tell her story. I... I... I wish to hear her story. Yes, she will tell her story. She needs coin to encourage her to play. give more to hear my heart play. Tis a magic harp. Welcome all. You've heard the tale, no doubt, of my bonny swan. My harp. Her sweet, tender music will soothe your mind and ease your souls. All that is asked is for but a bit of coin to ease her sorrow and death. Should I arrest him? Nay. For my swan. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Play for me, my bonny swan. My swan, she's
she weeps in silence. More coin is needed for her to sing. Please, to hear my swan. Yes. See, he swindles the peasants out of their coin. Tell us your story, my lady. Aye, see, I told thee. Tis a magic harp. I do not see any deception, do you? Nay. Let us stop this madness. Aye. My story, my sorrow, hey. my death, uh, hear my tale. Dear Peter. Al Alice, what, what's, where did you find these bones? I found, I found her dead in the river. It's not a crime to, to take bones and make a harp. Someone's been long dead. Al Alice's voice, I, I fear that this, this harp may be related to, to her. He found her bones by the river. It could be her spirit playing the harp. She is mine. It answers only to me. Well, then ask her to tell me what happened. Well, I will if you take me to court. I wish to perform for the king and queen. If you do this, then you shall have your answer. You have no grounds for such a request. We have a festival in a fortnight. We'll bring him to the castle. We will hear the harp story, all of it. It'll be his last request. She will tell her story. We'll find more about Alice's death in front of Prince William. They may give him some solace. Do you suspect deceit? Aye, but they are your family. As do I. The truth will be revealed whether this fool cooperates or not. Please, William, we were to be family. Will you walk with me? As you wish. Simply a beautiful party. Thank you for inviting my family. Simply more than I could have ever imagined. <coughs> Tis whiskey? Yes. Is that a problem? Nay. Do you like my dress? Aye, forgive me. You look very beautiful today. Thank you. And you know, if you like it on me, imagine what it looks like removed. <coughs> You're a man. You have needs. I'm willing to accommodate. And forgive me. You're very beautiful, but your sister still has my heart. I may never look for another. I'm sorry, I just can't. So you're willing to condemn yourself to a lonely life? You are acting like you were married to my sister for years. You hardly knew her. And for that little time, you're willing to throw away your whole life? It just, it's nonsense. It's hard to understand. I don't even understand it myself. But right now, my heart still aches for her. Please, let us mend together. Please, please forgive me. I wish to be alone. Is he ready? Aye, he says the harp is ready to play. It will be okay. The truth needs to be heard. I worry I will not like the truth. Peter! I shall return before the harper comes. Oh, Peter, what a festival. I keep pinching myself thinking tis all a dream. Aye, I must ask you again what happened on the day Alice drowned. I was not there. Best to question Anne. I know what Anne said, but something was amiss. 
They were they were arguing. I Anne was upset over Alice's betrothal. Damn, do you do you think something happened? Maybe a quarrel where Alice was pushed in? Y you would have to question Anne about that. You must tell me what happened on that day in the river. I already told you, I was not present. But if I had been, I would have given my all to save her. Anne is the only one that knows what really transpired that day. I must go find father. Good people, tonight I bring you a special performance. You may have heard this harpist before, but tonight it will play with no master. My hop and I have waited a long time for this day. Do you remember me? I was once a hopper in your court before I was thrown out. But my hop and I come today looking to redeem your favor. Now, I must warn you, it's nothing to be fearful of, but I wish to display my bonnie swan. No, no, please, please, tell them your story, my swan. story. I tell you of my death, my death, my tragic death. There to sit my father, a farmer, a farmer, a simple farmer. There to sit my father, the king, the king, the great king. My mother, my mother, laid down to rest. Are you all right, Anne? Yet yonder sits the queen, the queen, my bonnie queen. There does stand my sister, my beautiful sister, kind and sweet. There does stand my brother, the knight, the knight who knows of the deceit. There does stand my brother, the future king, my King Hugh, and near him, my William, my William, so sweet and so true. Only you, sweet William, I will tell of my death. I will tell you who murdered me with my last breath. For there, there does stand my false sister, Anne. Nay, you must stay. Who drowned me for the sake of this man. She murdered me for William's love. My bones, my bones have come to tell thereof. Arrest her! Tis true. I knew I heard a scream that day, but I knew something was amiss. But you wouldn't try to save her? Instead, you, you drowned her? How could you? Your own flesh and blood. <laughs> Is it you? My Alice? Does this heart speak the truth? You killed her? For what purpose would you do such a wicked thing? No, you can't believe this harpist trickery. Tis the voice of Alice. I don't trust your words. Take her away, I'll decide what to do with her later. <laughs> no, no, she is mine. She will only play for me, but I desire 
fame, some riches, and if you were able to give me what I want, I would let you speak to her. You may have what you wish. I must hear her voice again. <coughs> <laughs> Dear William, my love, this harper took my bones. My soul, my soul, he thinks he owns. His name, his name, shall not be told. He no longer possesses me, his fate behold. The curse. Alice, is that you? I, my dear, dear William. I'm so sorry I wasn't there to protect you. Tis not your fault. I have come to tell of the truth and to say goodbye to my love. You have remained true to me even in death, but now you must release me from this heart. <laughs> I can't do that. I don't want to let go. You must. Any man who possesses this harp shall bear the fate of the harpist, death. You are to do great things. Your brother needs you. Peter, Mary, my father will rely on you. Please, do not choose me over your fate. Goodbye, my love. Shall always have my heart. You all right? I she put these bones, this harp, in a tomb. She's told us of her death, and who's to blame? My dear William was to do great things. He, of course, found another maiden to wed and was happy. Anne was shown some pity. She was sent to a nunnery to confess her sins to God in solitude. Peter and Mary lived a good life, with a title and proper marriages. The people still speak, though, to this day, of the harp made of bones of the bonnie swan. <laughs> <laughs>